welcome back to another video with teacher satya guys now in this video we will be finding the unknown angles of these two questions that you see right here now let's get to it guys all right so first of all guys in question one we have to find angle p angle q and angle r all right so we can find angle p straight away pretty easily by using the angle sum property of triangles where three angles add up to 180 degrees all right so let's go ahead and form an equation so we have angle p plus 50 degrees plus this right angle which is 90 degrees adds up to 180 degrees right guys now 50 plus 90 is going to give us 140 so p plus 140 is 180 now subtracting both sides with 140 guys we have p is 180 minus 140 therefore p is equal to 40 degrees right so we have found the value of p now now next we can go ahead and find the value of q right guys now q and this 50 degree form a linear pair right and in a linear pair the angles add up to 180 degrees which is a straight line right so let's form an equation here also so we have 50 plus q is equal to 180 degrees right guys therefore q is equal to 180 minus 50 therefore q is equal to 130 degrees so we have found angle q now all right now in order to find angle r guys we'll be using the understanding of parallel lines and transversal now if you take a look at this guys these two lines are parallel line and these two lines work at the transversal right now this 45 degrees and angle r are alternate angles now if you don't know about parallel lines and transversal lines, i will highly suggest you to take a look at the video that pops up right about now i will leave the link in the description for you guys all right so angle r guys is equal to 45 degrees because it is the alternate angle of this 45 degrees it is as simple as that all right now let's go ahead to question number two now in question number two guys you may take a look at it and it seems very complicated right but actually it is not at all we will be using the uh, sum of the angle triangle property here and also we will be using the understanding of isosceles triangle all right now what do we mean by isosceles triangle guys two sides are equal and two angles are equal right and the two angles that are equal will always be opposite to the equal sides all right now let's get to it so first of all guys we are going to find angle p and q all right so we know that this is 75 degrees and opposite angles to the equal sides will always be equal right therefore p is immediately 75 degrees guys p is immediately 75 degrees now using this guys in this triangle if you take a look at it we know two angles so we can find that third angle straight away so we know that q plus 75 degrees plus angle p which is 75 degrees add up to 180 right add up to 180 now q plus 150 is equal to 180 therefore subtracting both sides 150 we have q is 180 minus 150 so q is equal to 30 degrees right now we have found q now now for the second triangle here where we have r s and 50 degrees we are going to use the same understanding of isosceles triangle so what angles will be equal guys angle r and angle 50 will be equal right so we can immediately write angle r r is equal to 50 degrees because again the angles that are equal will be equal to the opposite sides of the equal side all right i did say too many equal there again now let's get to it boys and girls let me draw a straight line here so we have angle r plus 50 degrees plus angle s is equal to 180 degrees right now we have found angle r already so 50 plus 50 plus s is equal to 180 degrees right so 100 plus s is equal to 180 now subtracting both sides with 100 we have s is equal to 180 minus 100 which is equal to 80 degrees right guys so we know that s is equal to 80 degrees now let's go to the next one guys how can we find the next angle think 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 now if we take a look at it t s and q form a linear pair right guys linear pair means when the angles add up to 180 degrees right now let's form an equation so we have t right we have t plus angle s which is 80 degrees 
plus angle Q which is 30 degrees adds up to 180 degrees right guys so we have T plus 110 is equal to 180 and subtracting both sides with 110 we have T is equal to 70 degrees right we have T is equal to 70 degrees now we take a look at this triangle guys it is also an isosceles triangle so u will also be equal to 70 degrees right guys u will also be equal to 70 degrees now let's go to the final step here maybe i can continue it right here so let's go to the final step guys we see that v plus u plus t is equal to 180 right so let's write that down v plus angle u which is 70 degrees plus angle T which is 70 degrees adds up to 180 right guys so V plus 140 is equal to 180 and V is 180 minus 140 therefore V is equal to 40 degrees guys it's pretty easy isn't it and that is how guys we will find the unknown angles in polygons all right now i really hope you enjoyed this video guys now if you did do not forget to hit on the like button and consider subscribing guys so you don't miss out on any future maths videos now, until next time guys have a nice day